Okay, today we've got a different one for you. The owner has a pergola and uh, he's looking to close it in. But before he did, he's realised that some of his posts are looking a bit old and rusted. Um, and especially the one over on the corner uh, down here. So what we're doing is he had a look at the cost on replacing them. And it was quite high so we're gonna do a little bit of a, a fix that will let it last an extra 10 or 20 years and what we're going to do is we're just going to drill a hole and core fill the uh, metal post up and above the floor line so effectively we're lifting the floor from down here up to about here and we're going to put a bit of rebar in it which acts to tie it all together and stop it from lifting this will um, help obviously in strengthening it going downwards and also stop it with the uplift so that's the plan today we'll get to it so on this one it's pretty deteriorated you can see there's a few holes in it but the sides are okay um, so what we're going to do is before we drill a hole to put the concrete in, um, the rusted area, it has been treated, the owner has treated it, but what we're going to do is we're going to put some duct tape around there um, to stop all the concrete spilling out. Obviously if it spills out, it's not going to stay in. So <coughs> it's a really, really cheap form of formwork on the patio post. So there you have it, it's um, just quickly done, just wrapped it around, it's just to stop the concrete from oozing out. <laughs> so there's the base of the pole and we're trying to lift it, bring it higher than the rusted area. This is the rebar we're going to put in, so I'm going to drill my hole just slightly above my rebar, probably about there would be good and uh, that'll allow me to slide the rebar in and fill it up with concrete and get it above that floor level. All right, I've measured it up. There we go, nice little pilot hole. Like so. Get a WD-40 or CRC, whichever is your preference. Now, I'm going to get through. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay, so when I got the concrete, I tried to get one with superior workability it's got here. All right, it's upside down, which kind of stuffs you up. But the idea behind it is I don't want big aggregate in it. Obviously, the bigger the aggregate, the harder it is to get in that hole. So I want small aggregate and mix that up nice and runny and get that into the hole. All right, they're all done now. So we've done all four of them. They've all been filled. So what we've done, let's take this one for example, we have a piece of rebar in there. The rebar does two things, it stops shear going left and right, and it stops uplift if this ever ends up rusting right through. It'll stop it lifting up. Um, basically what we've done is we've taken this floor level and we've lifted it to about there. So now these posts are all set again in a higher floor level. That's the theory behind it and <clears throat> it'll give you a longer life because as you can see all the rest of the post is absolutely perfect. It's only down the bottom that it rusts. So get another 20 years out of that and yeah keep going on the goal of save himself a bit of money. All right well I hope you enjoyed this video and if you did like and subscribe and I will see you on the next one.